Despite serving a prison sentence for killing her mother, Gypsy Rose Blanchard's romantic life has gone viral. It is difficult to navigate social media without coming across Gypsy Rose Blanchard's name. The social media star and her ex-boyfriend, Nicholas Gojon, started arranging Gypsy's mother Dee Dee Blanchard's murder in 2014. Gypsy was suspected of being abused by her mother for much of her life. Nicholas and Gypsy received prison sentences. Gypsy served almost 80% of her 10-year sentence before being released, while Nicholas faced a life sentence. She was engaged to Ken Urker while incarcerated, but they broke up before she was allowed to leave. In actuality, Gypsy Rose wed Ryan Anderson in a jail ceremony in June 2022. Regretfully, Gypsy Rose filed for divorce a mere few months after being freed from prison. She was already dating her ex-boyfriend less than a month later. The convicted murderer's love life appears to be the most intriguing aspect of her. Here's what we know about her ex-husband, her ex-fiancé who is now her boyfriend, and the documentary that may provide insight into both of them. The Prison Confessions of Gypsy Rose Blanchard, a documentary series, revealed that Gypsy Rose Blanchard was a victim of Munchausen by proxy, a type of abuse in which a parent may inflate or make up a child's sickness in order to get pity or attention. On a friend's dare, Ryan Anderson wrote her a letter in 2020 while she was serving a 10-year sentence. She then had to respond to Tiger King star Joe Exotic. The two began corresponding, albeit Anderson did not anticipate a response. Gypsy Rose Blanchard wed Ryan Anderson on July 21, 2022, in a private jail ceremony attended by just the couple. The two parted ways around three months after Gypsy Rose was released from the Chillicothe Correctional Center in Missouri, despite her statements that she wanted to have a bigger wedding when she was freed from jail. According to reports, Gypsy Rose Blanchard broke up with Ryan Anderson because of some strange conduct, like putting too much food in the refrigerator. They ended their relationship after a heated argument that started when she attempted to toss some of it out. Gypsy Rose Blanchard had not even received a judge's approval for the divorce when she got back in touch with her former fiancé Ken Urker. Despite obtaining matching tattoos together, Gypsy and Ken were not back together, according to Ken's mother Raina Williams, who spoke to People magazine. A few weeks later, the two were seen packing on the PDA while at the New Orleans Jazz and Heritage Festival, so it appears that things changed swiftly. Gypsy went to Los Angeles two weeks later to promote Gypsy Rose, Life After Lockup, her new docu-series. Gypsy Rose made light of the fact that her beau lives in Dallas, Texas, while she resides in Louisiana, saying to E.T. as she spoke to them on the red carpet that tonight's not date night. She continued, though, by saying that Ken had intended to relocate to Louisiana in order to be nearer to her and resume their relationship. Gypsy stated that she and Ken have always had a strong bond because of our shared past, our reunion has been made possible by having that foundation, and we are excited about what lies ahead for us. I mean genuinely I'm trying my hardest to move on with my life, even though I know I'm going through a tough moment right now. She continued by referring to Ken as her soulmate, but she acknowledged that she didn't want to make things too heavy or move too quickly. Basically, we're enjoying our time together, and we're hopeful about what the future holds, she continued. Gypsy Rose Blanchard had an intriguing experience with social media after being incarcerated for seven years. In Gypsy Rose, Life After Lockup, a lifetime series, Gypsy Rose Blanchard delves into the challenges of managing personal relationships in the public eye. Social media has been curious in her life's activities ever after she was freed from prison in December 2023. After being released from prison, she has experienced a wide range of things, such as her first visit to a Sephora beauty supply store, dinner at Lisa Vanderpump's restaurant in Los Angeles, and nose surgery. She has discussed her difficult upbringing in her memoir, My Time to Stand, in addition to the Lifetime series. The title of the book alludes to the fact that, despite her ability to walk, Gypsy Rose was compelled to use a wheelchair because her mother persuaded her and her physicians that she had muscular dystrophy. It can be easy to forget that Gypsy Rose Blanchard is a convicted felon who was found guilty of planning to kill her mother long before she became well-known after being released from jail, 
especially with all the media attention that surrounds her every move.